Every day is upside down day in Sonji Land. Hi and welcome to the Sonji Land show where everybody's upside down. And today I have another superstar from the Key of Circus School. <laughs> Her name is Kaisa. And uh, oh my god, I totally want to talk about your flags. That yeah. your flags are amazing and apparently in December you didn't have them. But before we talk about flags, uh, I want to know first how you got into hand balance in general, just to have some context. Okay, uh, actually I started uh, probably um, last fall. What? Yeah. But oh my god, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> but I, um, I did two arms long ago. Ah, okay. But like, uh, so hard training. Like now, it's so so new for me. Oh my god! Yeah. So, what did you do before? Like, what discipline? Um, gymnastics. Mm. Uh, okay. Like one or two, two times in a week. Um, what? <laughs> <laughs> my mind is blowing. <laughs> we never talked about this. Oh my god! Yeah. Okay. Uh, when I was. Nine, I started, mm -hmm. and um, then I was thirteen, and my knee dislocated, it, Ooh. and then I I can't walk, and and I I decide so okay, I I try to walk with my hands, and <laughs> yeah. ah okay, and. Um, that's how you learn the handstand? Yeah, but but only I just walk walk maybe one year on like my hands and uh, after that I I decided to learn this to to uh, stand. Yeah. Wow. And uh, when I went High school, I started circus school, and I did aerial silks because I love it. And I graduated. I go circus academy in mm -hmm. Finland, and there, there you have to be like decide to the circus disciplines what you wanna do. And I have, I had uh, aerial silks and handstand, mm -hmm. so I did handstand, but not not like I can do one arm handstand or anything. Wow! Before that school, and I had, uh, I had been there about two years, and then I decided I. I need to change school because I really want to focus on my circus disciplines and mm -hmm. it wasn't possible there, so I can't be. Why was it not possible there? Uh, <laughs> because it's cool. There's so so many things you have to do, like juggling and dancing and teaching, wow. teaching children. And ah, wow, okay. Yeah so much things mm -hmm. so you you don't have time yeah if you are here and so what happened with ariel why did uh, you stop that no actually i i do it oh you do it yeah i haven't seen you <laughs> yeah uh in here i don't have time mm -hmm. to do it but i really wanna and sometimes i i do it uh in Nifki. Ah, okay. Yeah, but I really wanna like next year. I I wanna like schedule yeah. my to have both. Yeah. Just a short explanation. Um, there are two gyms here that we have been training at. One is called Seska. That's where the circus school training uh, takes place, and the other one is Nivki, which is bas basically an open gym, but it's actually a circus place right so there's aerial there's there's a lot of different disciplines like um people balancing on rolla bola 
piled up on top of each other and people hand balancing and yeah. Okay, so I am just really surprised that you actually just learned your water handstands because <laughs> <laughs> your flags are amazing. So can you take us through your learning process? Like what happened in this time? Um, I started uh, on the floor, but mm -hmm. I really hate it. Hmm. But I still still do it like uh, six months. And Only floor? Yeah, yeah, okay. just basics. And then I went to Finland because we have a location. And after that, <laughs> I just <laughs> I can I can uh, do it flex and and basics and it just I, came by itself. Yeah, I don't I don't know. That's it's, it's, what? <laughs> yeah, it's so wow. It's so weird, but yeah, it sounds and, like magic basics you train. Yeah, <laughs> and now I now I do on canes. Because I like it and I never do on the floor. Is it easier for you on canes? Yeah, and I think because my wrist is so like mm, mm -hmm. stiff, limited. Yeah. 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 So it's it's very hard. Yeah. On the floor, I need something. Something that takes away the stress. Yeah, yeah, and I can, like, like, yeah, control yeah. it better. Yeah, um, I want to know more about what you did on the floor, because <laughs> it's amazing. Um, did you just do? You know what I always do here in yeah. the training. It's like just tuck straight, tuck straight, tuck straddle, tuck straddle. And like going through the different shapes, and then these soldiers with narrow mm -hmm. straddle and flags. Is that what you practiced, or did you practice more or different things? Uh, the same, and I did so much like this uh, blocks, block box. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and actually, I I felt like. It's not working and everything is so hard and I was so like I don't <laughs> not motivated. Yeah, mm. yeah. It's very hard. But yeah, after Christmas everything just like that? Yeah. Did <laughs> you take a break at Christmas? Yeah, actually oh. I I didn't do anything in Finland. How long was that? Six weeks. <laughs> ah. So it's a long resting. Wow. Okay, so to summarize, you started here when? In September? Yeah. You trained four hours a day, really hard handstands, a lot of basics. And you went on your Christmas break for six weeks. You came <laughs> back. You had your one arm. You had your flags. <laughs> you had everything. Is this what happened? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Oh my god! <laughs> that sounds magic! Um, wow, do you think it's because you recovered? Yeah. Or like what, what happened? I think uh, it's just because that's... Hmm. <laughs> yeah, do you feel differently now? Like in your body? Yeah. And I feel my body is very strong and I can do that. That so many uh, positions are so like easier. Yeah, yeah, easier and balanced. And how was it when you started? How did it feel? Mm. Actually, I, uh, I felt it first my wrist. It's very painful, mm. but I think I'm fine now. Yeah, with that, like when I uh, practice four hours a day, 
Så kan jeg. Ja, det er super. Bare fodbold. <laughs> did you ever think about um, maybe it being too much, or like, did you ever got scared that you would get injured or something like that? Mm, yeah, sometimes. But then I decided that okay, I I really need to rest some like few days or or. Or I can't uh, do anything. Okay. So so whenever it was too much, does that mean you just took time off? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's so great that they give you the freedom here. Mm, yeah. To actually listen to your body. Yeah. Wow. I'm surprised. <laughs> <laughs> what is your goal? Like, what do you want to achieve with handstands and also with aerial? Mm, I think I want to do some performance uh, that I I can mix mix both of them mm-hmm. disciplines, but I also want to um, like solos, like only only handstands and only aerial six. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I really want to uh, be in Soleil. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> it's my dream. They have a lot of shows. Yeah. So. And this school has a really good reputation, mm-hmm. too. Yeah. Do you think that will help? Yeah. Yeah, and every year uh, there is audition. Mm-hmm. And... So the Soleil people comes here and yeah yeah. Who do you admire in hand balancing or in general? Mm, I really like uh, Dennis Tolstoy, mm. but it's also like because he's a private pilot. A private yeah. pilot? Yeah. He yeah. flies planes? Yeah. Oh, and, wow. And actually, I I want to do the same. Like, I want to be paraglider or something. And oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> and he has two of my dreams, so <laughs> so I really, really admire him. Why do you want to do that? It's because, dangerous. <laughs> but I really, really like it. And... It's so, it's so nice to fly. Have you done something like it yeah. before? Oh. Yeah. So you've done paragliding? Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. And also Sasha Bachman, mm-hmm. he's so strong and he can do everything. And um, he also do, uh, does like area straps. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So... I want to know how he can be so good both of them disciplines at the same time, so, whoa. Yeah, but I mean, it looks like you have very good um, prerequisitions, like you have everything it takes now. Ah, (laughs) thanks, but (laughs) uh, I think I, I need more time. So, uh, my area. Well, yeah, if you're not practicing at all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Practicing in the first place would probably be good. <laughs> yeah. But in terms of hand balance, um, what is the main thing you're focusing on right now? Uh, like tricks or... Mm-hmm. Mm. In your training. I practice uh, low to crook. Mm, yeah. And full flag. But I also want to do uh, crook up and switches and one arm press. Yeah. And after after that, I think I'm ready. <laughs> yeah. And how is it going with that? Uh, good. Actually, lot of work. It's it's hard, but 
But I think if I am not so scary with tats, I I can do it. Ah, so it's mainly yeah. mental for you? Yeah. That's interesting. Hmm. Why? What are you scared of? I think my elbow or shoulder or wrist. Oh. Wrist. Hold support. Some, it. Yeah. Hmm. Some injury just happens. How do you practice it? Do you always practice it with uh, spotting or mm, by yourself? At first, yes. But now I also do... I try to do so slow as possible, mm -hmm. but but it's so scary that <laughs> I have to put my hand every time the case. Yeah. And I think it's not so good habit, but yeah, I think uh, spotter is the best way mm. right now. Well, I'm sure if you keep going, it will just come. <laughs> I mean, for sure. It seems like this is a magical place and everything yeah. comes. Yeah. Um, so you and Kitty, your boyfriend, uh, did you come here together? Yes. He also studies here. That's nice. How did you guys meet, if I may ask? Uh, our prayer school in Finland. Circus school. Mm, okay. Yeah. And so you decided together to come here? Yeah. That's so cool. <laughs> Does that make life easier for you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's my support. Yeah. Support. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I have one last question for you. Uh, how do you deal with motivation here with the heart training every day and like... I don't know, this culture and... Uh, when I see old people at gym, I think, okay, I can do it. And then I just keep training and... Like, what was to be um, artist at Soleil? Ah, okay. Yeah. So you think of your future at Cirque du Soleil. Yeah. And that motivates yeah. you. Awesome. Yeah. I noticed that there's a huge influence of, of the environment mm -hmm. here. It's amazing. Yeah. Cool. So you have three more years to go, right? Mm -hmm. Wow. There's a lot to come. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you. And I wish you all the best. I'm sure I'll see you next year because we're definitely coming back here. Mm -hmm. And yeah, if you want to know more about Kaisa, I'll put all of her contact details down below, like her Instagram, and you can check her out. She's amazing. Uh, and other than that, if you have questions, as always, don't hesitate to comment down below. And remember, it's never too late to start doing what you love. And I'll see you next Monday on the Sohi Land Show. Bye!